Hello everyone, Windows 11 version 25H2 is already in the works and while we're still waiting for the real features to appear, one thing that seems to be coming is a new option that will allow you to remove some of the annoying apps that Microsoft adds by default when creating a new account. So we can kind of say that Microsoft is adding a native way to the bloat Windows 11. It is important to note that this option is still under development and it is currently available through the dev and beta channels. So it might also arrive for version 24H2. So, okay, let's dive into the feature. First, the option is available in a form of a policy. So it can only be configured through the group policy editor, meaning that it is only available for Windows 11 Pro and higher releases, not Windows 11 Home. Also, since this appears to be aimed to network administrators, there is a good chance that we won't see this setting for Windows 11 Home. However, it might be possible to use the registry to accomplish the same results. Okay, so to take a look at the policy, let's open the group policy editor. And then we need to open computer configuration, templates, components, and then we need to go to the app package development section. And in here, we're going to notice a new remove default Microsoft Store packages from the system. Then if we open the policy, we can enable it. And in here, we can see the list of apps that we can select to remove when creating a new account. So for this example, I'm just going to leave all the default selections and then you just need to click apply and okay to apply the changes. Now, you might be asking why Microsoft is adding this feature to Windows 11. Well, first, I don't think that this feature is aimed to regular consumers because Microsoft is adding a policy and not an option in the settings app. So this will make it easier and more efficient for network administrators to create policies to automate the process of removing the apps that they don't want other people to use while they're working. Now, also remember that this policy does not debloat the entire operating system. It only removes certain apps that came from the Microsoft Store. So other promotional apps won't be removed using this feature, just to keep in mind. So just to give you an example, I'm going to go to the settings app and then I'm going to create a new local account just to see how this works. Now I'm going to switch accounts. And throughout the process of setting up the account, that policy is going to tell the operating system to remove the Microsoft apps that we selected. Now, if we open the start menu, and then if we look for all the Xbox apps, we can see that nothing is on the system. And the same is true for news, for example. And that's it. That is a new way that Microsoft is trying out to try to debloat the operating system. And finally, one thing to point out is that when using that policy on the registry, we're going to see some changes. For example, if we go to the local machine, software, policies, Microsoft Windows apps, then we're going to see a new remove default Microsoft Store packages. And here we can see the list of all the default apps that can be uninstalled from the operating system. And then if we go to one of the apps that we selected to be uninstalled, the remove package key is set to one, while other apps that hasn't been selected also have the remove package key, but is set to zero. Now, as I mentioned previously, this feature is available on the dev and beta channels of the Windows Insider program. And if you don't have it enabled on your computer, you will have to use the Vite tool, which you can get from this GitHub page. So you just need to download the app. Then we need to extract the files. Then we need to copy the path. And now we need to open the terminal or command prompt. You want to run it as an administrator. Then we need to open the directory where we extract the files. And then we need to type this command press enter and then restart the computer. And then you will find the policy on the group policy editor. And that's it, that is a closer look to the newly added option to the bloat Windows 11 from most of the Microsoft Store apps. Let me know in the comments what you think about this option. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.